It's happened. Quantum computers are coming. Quantum computers are coming. But why should you care? Can it solve the pressing issues of the time? The mainstream is getting closer to quantum technology. In a recent statement, Goldman Sachs said that quantum algorithms might be used to price financial instruments within the next five years. According to Honeywell, quantum is expected to grow into a $1 trillion business in the coming decades. However, given that commercial quantum computers may still be years away, why are companies like Goldman making this risky move? To better understand what's going on, take a step back and analyze what functions computers actually carry out. Let's begin with the digital technologies of today. The digital computer is fundamentally an arithmetic device. It reduced the cost of executing mathematical operations, and society has benefited greatly. The use of all forms of computing in goods and services is now possible because of advancements in hardware and software. Even before smartphones and the internet, modern cars, dishwashers and boilers had computers integrated into them. Without computers, it would have been impossible to land a satellite in orbit or travel to the moon. Binary signals, or the well-known ones and zeros of code, are used in these computers and are measured in bits or bytes. The longer the processing takes and the more computing power is needed, the more sophisticated the code is. This means that despite all of their advancements, from self-driving cars to defeating grandmasters at games of Go and chess, there are still tasks that traditional computing devices find challenging, even when the task is spread across millions of machines. Combinatronics is a subset of mathematics that they find particularly challenging. These computations include selecting an item arrangement. The best achieves a particular objective. There are exponentially more alternative configurations as the number of components increases. Today's digital computers essentially have to loop over each permutation to obtain an outcome and then identify which does best at fulfilling the goal to find the ideal arrangement. This can frequently involve many calculations. Think about breaking password, for example. As we'll see in a moment, the difficulty of combinatronics calculations extended to many crucial industries, from finance to medicines. Additionally, it is a significant roadblock in the development of AI. Quantum computers have a role in this. Quantum computing offers a similar cost reduction to solving difficult combinatorial problems, just as classical computing reduced the cost of arithmetic. Security challenges. On the other hand, quantum might pose security difficulties. The risk to current security measures increases as processing power increases. The cryptography field is the longer-term motive, but it is also the one that everyone acknowledges as an existential threat, both offensively and defensively. This will eventually lead to RSA's vulnerability, Savoy continued. The term RSA refers to one of the most popular data encryption techniques that could be broken by quantum speed. It was created in 1977. It bears the names of Ron Rivest, Adi Shamir, and Leonard Adelman, the three men that created it. Governments and communities are interested in this technology because they don't want to be the last ones to have it. After all, other countries will be able to decrypt our messages, according to Sahoy. To prevent security from being outpaced, Magda Lilia Celli, the chief information security officer at the Singaporean cybersecurity company Responsible Cyber, told the CNBC that encryption and quantum research and development must be pursued simultaneously. According to Celli, some scientists predict that someday quantum computers will be able to decrypt all types of encryption, while others think that new and more complex types of encryption will be created that quantum computers will not be able to decrypt. Researchers have focused on finding rapid techniques to factor huge numbers using quantum computers. This is crucial since numerous current encryption techniques rely on factoring huge numbers is extremely difficult, she continued. If successful, this would make it possible to decrypt encrypted messages and break most of the world's current encryption protocols. The value of quantum Quantum computing is based on a fundamentally new understanding of how the world works and quantum software. An item exists in a clearly defined state, according to classical physics. Only after we witness an object do they exist in a clearly defined state, according to quantum physics. Before our discovery, the states of two objects and their relationships were probabilistic issues. To reflect the variety of states in the quantum world, non-binary qubits of information, as opposed to binary bits, are used to record and store data from a computer standpoint. Combinatronic arithmetic calculations may be made faster and more affordably thanks to this diversity. That is indeed baffling if that makes sense. 
the many fascinating features of the subatomic universe that quantum mechanics describes, which even particle physicists find challenging to understand, are not the subject of this video. What we can say, however, is that quantum mechanics accommodates almost all of the hypotheses that classical physics has produced and does a better job of explaining many features of the natural world than does classical physics. In commercial computing, quantum computing refers to hardware and software that, in theory, can do most of the functions of classical digital computers, as well as one very important function that classical computers cannot quickly conduct combinatronics computations. That will be a major thing in some key fields, as we will show in our video. Commercial applications of quantum computing, in some circumstances, the significance of combinatronics is already recognized as fundamental to the field. Engineering using chemicals and biology The study and control of molecules is a chemical and biological engineering component. Subatomic particles must move and interact to do this. In other words, quantum mechanics is involved. One of the main drivers behind Richard Feynman's original plan to create a quantum computer was the desire to simulate quantum mechanics. The number of potential configurations increases exponentially as molecules become more complicated. It transforms into a combinatronics calculation that a quantum computer could handle. For instance, programmable quantum computers have already successfully simulated simple chemical reactions, opening the door for increasingly complicated chemical reactions. Engineers will be able to take into account molecular configurations that would otherwise be difficult to describe due to the growing viability of quantum simulations, which helps anticipate the properties of novel molecules. Due to this capability, quantum computers will be crucial in advancing present efforts in discovering new materials and developing pharmaceuticals. Cybersecurity For over a thousand years, combinatronics has been a key component of cryptography. The Book of Cryptographic Messages by Al-Khalil, published in the 8th century, examined word permutations and combinations. Combinatronics emphasizes that combinatronic calculations are inherently unsolvable and are still the foundation of today's encryption. Data security is at risk, since encryption cracking is now much easier thanks to quantum computing. A brand new sector is emerging that aids businesses in becoming ready for potential cybersecurity weaknesses. Applications beyond quantum simulation and encryption are starting to develop as more people become aware of the potential of quantum computing. Synthetic Intelligence Artificial intelligence, which frequently entails the combinatorial processing of extremely vast amounts of data to make better predictions and judgments, may benefit from quantum computing. Think facial recognition or fraud detection. The use of quantum algorithms to accelerate AI is being studied in a developing area of research called quantum machine learning. Though quantum artificial general intelligence is now only a remote prospect due to technological and software limitations. It does raise the stakes for thinking machines beyond the realm of science fiction. Financial services One of the earliest industries to use big data was finance. Additionally, combinatorial calculations play a significant role in the science behind pricing complicated assets, such as stock options. For instance, when pricing derivatives, Goldman Sachs uses a Monte Carlo simulation, a highly computationally demanding procedure that generates predictions based on simulated market movements. In the financial markets, computing speed has long been a competitive advantage, where hedge funds why to get millisecond advantages in obtaining price information. For a crucial set of financial calculations, quantum algorithms can improve speed. Complex manufacturing Quantum computers can translate large manufacturing datasets on operational failures into combinatorial problems that, when combined with a quantum-inspired algorithm, can pinpoint which step in a complicated manufacturing process was responsible for product failure. Quantum can aid in lowering the cost of failures for items like microchips, where the production process might involve thousands of steps. Billion-dollar investments have been made recently due to the potential for quantum computing to address complex combinatronics problems more quickly and affordably. The greatest opportunity may lie in discovering further new uses for quantum solutions. According to researcher and entrepreneur Alan Aspuro Guzik, there is a place for creativity, intuition, and adventure. Perhaps the more important question is how many hackers we have, not how many qubits we have. That brings us to the end of today's video. Let's hear what you think of quantum computers in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you in our next one.